Grace is only manifested through the mouth. Christ in John 6, 63, the flesh profits nothing. Romans 4, 1, what did Abraham our father find according to the flesh? Nothing. That's why tonight the word has to detach you from your flesh and it's going to do it tonight. There's going to be a detachment from flesh. And then there will be a takeoff of spirit. And then you are going to live by what the spirit says. When your flesh comes here, you say you stay there. I don't want you. I don't want you thoughts. I don't want you. Uh, they have already done a lot of damage even inside the church. They hurt me outside and now they are hurting me inside here. That's enough. Look what the mouth does. Romans 10 verse 8. But what does it say? Near you is what? It is in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith we are proclaiming. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. God had to take the mouth and put it to good use. God was pleased with this. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by the physical part. But every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God hath proceeded forth from God. Now it needs to come out of you. And the correct use of your mouth will activate you to the maximum of the covenant. That is what I want to see you activated so that you walk at the height that Christ has always wanted you to walk. But you have been hindering it with your logic, with your works, with your theories. And the spirit has been grieved and he cannot operate because you are going into a place that he does not like. He established that it was by faith and if it is by faith, it is by the mouth. The body does not take activity. You are in its way. You hinder the spirit a lot with your works, with your activities, with your thoughts. God needs to take what? Imagine God taking your mouth tonight. He would say, well, look, I have already perfected him in spirit and now he is giving me the tongue with his physical body and he does. In the same way that the tongue contaminates all, not part, the whole body for evil. Imagine that God takes your mouth today and says, now I am going to give him the victories that he has not been able to obtain with fasting, the victories that he has not obtained with effort, everything he has wanted to do, all those depressions. Now with the mouth, I am going to teach him to activate the whole pack. And with the mouth, he will say, depression lie, go away from me. And the depression will be like this. I am healthy. I am complete. I am in Christ Jesus. With your mouth you will activate it and then attend well. The works of the law is one story. The works of faith is another story. The works of the law are the efforts you produce. The works of faith are ba. Uh, what your mouth says and then what you say gives works to your faith. Therefore, the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 20 states that God works in you to do what is pleasing to him. Can you imagine that? How paradoxical he doing? In you what is pleasing in his sight. You are not playing any role here nor will you. It is he who does it. The only role you play is that you lend him your mouth. 